welcome in, welcome in. Got some Palo Santo going. <laughs> How is everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today we are going to look at love. Now, yes, this is a relationship reading. And even if you are single, we're going to take a look at what's going on. Maybe what energies are coming towards you, how you can love yourself more. Um, if you're in a relationship or a situationship, we'll take a look at that as well. We're just going to see what comes up. So let's take a look at what's going on. I've got the light seers tarot. It's the one that called to me. If you're new here, hello, welcome. I am an intuitive reader, so I usually like to ask the decks if they're willing to um, be seen on camera and if they want to, uh, if they have any messages, if they want to talk, if they want to say anything in particular. So I do always ask their permission. Um, since this was a love reading, I did grab love centric cards and made sure that I had their permission. So I know that might sound a little weird, but I respect my divinity tools. They have a life of their own. It's just what I do. If you're returning, hello, welcome back. Happy to see you here. Uh, for everyone, if you're already subscribed, awesome. If not, please do subscribe. That way you get notified when I upload videos. So make sure that notification bell's on if you want to be alerted. And, um, I am teaching a tarot class. It's a tarot basics class on October 2nd. So if you would like to join via Zoom, if you're not local to the Northeast Ohio area, um, if you can't attend live, you will receive a recording as well. Everyone will who attends the class. So that is in the description box below. Follow the Calendly link and look for the tarot basics class. If you want to understand tarot for yourself, um, just understand these readings that you watch or when you receive personal readings, my information is also below if you want your own personal reading. Or if uh, you're looking at reading for yourself or for others, it's a great way to get started. Um, or even if you feel like you're fairly familiar with tarot, there's always something to learn. So hop on, join us. It'll be a good time. Anyway, with all of that being said, Let's get started. So Sag, this is for you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and hey, cross watchers. So if you're not familiar why uh, we say that here on YouTube, the sun sign or your star sign is often what we identify with. Like, oh, I'm a Sag. Oh, I'm a Pisces. Um, it's your essential you, but it's not all of you. You have a moon, rising, Venus, north node, south node, all kinds of stuff. Lots of layers to the onion for my Shrek fans. <laughs> um, so there's lots, ooh, lots of layers. Cards are jumpy. One moment, please. And um, basically your sun is your essential you. Your moon is kind of what is behind the scenes, what's underneath, what you don't show everybody. Your, um, it's not nefarious. It's just, you know, your interpersonal stuff. And then your rising is what a lot of us will resonate with um, as we get older and sometimes makes more sense when we're watching um, readings or getting readings or um, reading astrology. There's lots of pieces to the puzzle. So take them all into account. And then your Venus, that's the planet of love. So obviously, here you go. <laughs> so and then cross watchers. Um, cross watcher is when you don't have in this case, you don't have those planets or predominant Sag in your chart. Um, but someone that you're dealing with does. So here we are. Woo. Love that journey for you, Sag. Six of wands. And remember that this is a general reading. So don't try to shoehorn yourself into anything uh, if it doesn't fit. Or if I say singles and you're coupled or vice versa, or it's a situation ship. Um, I am reading for a general audience. If you want your own personal reading with just your energy, all of my info is in the description box below. 
So feel free to contact me to set up your own reading. So the six of wands here, uh, that's the victory card. Ooh, okay. With the five of swords. Interesting. Um, so I, I love the six of cups, six of cups. Well, there's that too. We'll see if that comes out, but I love the six of wands energy here for you, Sag. Um, because if you're watching the video, you can see the, uh, not just listening. That's what that means. <laughs> if you're looking at the, at the screen, the six of wands card here, she's victorious. Um, she's on a stage. She's got the spotlights on her. She's being recognized, public recognition, being seen. So maybe where you are um, in your life, you're feeling very successful. Maybe you're a prominent public figure or you're uh, in your workplace or in your community, or you're just ready to be seen because you feel really good as you should, Sag. Jupiter energy there. And then the five of swords here. It's, it's not exactly opposite energy, but it, it is kind of, it's like, you've got, it's conflict. You've got all these opinions, all these things chirping in your ear. Um, there's almost like a success, but at what cost? Maybe for some of you, there has been a falling out in a relationship and you see yourself as the victor, but at what cost? What did it cost you just to win that argument? or win that person over even just kind of some regret energy going on here. Let's dive deeper. Two of wands, making a choice tower in reverse judgment in reverse, eight of swords, queen of cups in reverse, the star in reverse. I can't leave that alone. Strength in reverse and king of wands on the bottom. Okay. So let's break this down. The two of wands here, this is about making a choice and acting on it. Wands, action, fire energy. She's looking out the window and she's like, this is the way I'm going to go. This is the way I'm going to choose to go. Um, maybe you're making a decision between two people, two different ways of being in a relationship, maybe to be or not to be in the relationship, <laughs> whatever it is for you. Um, the tower in reverse, that's like an internal tower moment. And I actually really love the tower. Um, I know that it scares a lot of people because it does look scary. And this particular tower is not too terrible. It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> if you look at it, um, we have our little squirrel friend here and he's looking up and while there's this lightning that's striking his, his home, all he has to do is go in the burrow and he's very safe. He's protected. And this butterfly here is the transformation energy. So even though there's a storm, He's, he feels very safe and he knows that it's actually a good thing to have that storm come through and just knock out what's not working for you. Um, so it's this, this element of having like an internal tower moment. Um, maybe it wasn't totally unexpected change. Maybe you, you heard the rumble of thunder for a while. Um, if this is a relationship that is, that has gone awry, um, and you're like, yeah, now that I look back, I do kind of see how that, that happened. Um, it could also be a, a mindset shift if this is the internal tower part of it. Um, just kind of seeing from another perspective. And even though the hanged one's not here, um, but an internal tower kind of represents the same kind of energy. Um, just this inner knowing, um, belief system changing, mindset change, this new awareness and perspective that's coming through because, um, this destruction energy is actually a cleansing energy with well, judgment in reverse. It's like, maybe you were refusing to see it. And that's why the tower had to come along. Um, refusing to like wake up and smell the coffee. That's judgment when it's upright. It's like a wake up call. Um, but maybe you're, you're reserving judgment too. That could be again, Take it how it resonates for you. But the eight of swords here is um, actually a really lovely energy with all of this because it is confirming this is a mental prison. Um, if you look here, she's looking into a pool of water or a mirror, however you want to see it. And if I show you in reverse, you can see it's just a reflection. 
It's just in her mind that she's stuck. So this mindset shift that's coming for you, it's like you're getting unstuck. You refused for too long to make a decision or to go a certain direction um, or to even move at all because you could have been completely stuck. Um, but now you're making a choice or a choice was forced upon you here with the tower in reverse um, that helped you to wake up and see things for how they truly are instead of the mirage. With the queen of cups in reverse, she's my queen of self-care. I love her. So it's like you didn't, <clears throat> you didn't nurture yourself or the relationship in a way that um, was helpful. So with the queen of, I almost said wands. Why do I keep confusing the energies? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Take it if it resonates. Queen of Cups here in reverse. Um, like maybe you suppressed your emotions. You didn't express them as freely as you could have, or don't should on yourself, but you know, maybe you could have been more open with them um, or listening to the other person, how they wanted to be nurtured. You have to speak each other's love language. You don't have to speak the same love language, but it is a good idea to um, speak each other's love language and to um, understand that if somebody is a words of affirmation, but your love language is physical touch, then just holding their hand or touching their elbow or giving them a hug is lovely, but it's not how they choose to receive love. Theirs would be, I need you to tell me that you love me. I need you to um, make your needs known. Otherwise they can't be met. So lots of different ways of being here, but they're all just really great advice, no matter what. <laughs> um, with the star in reverse and the strength in reverse, it's like your wish didn't come true. Um, it wasn't granted in the way that you were hoping. Remember that the universe gives us, yes, absolutely, mm, not yet, or there's something better. So it's kind of like this didn't really go according to plan, but you found your inner strength through it. And that's really lovely. Love that journey for you, Sag. Um, so if this is a relationship that is still salvageable, you know what to do. Just take all that beautiful advice. If you're single and looking, maybe this is about a past relationship or um, you're, you're ready to be seen, you've healed, you're ready to go out and put yourself out into the world again. Um, maybe there's some fear here. But the King of Wands, it's just being uh, confident in yourself. That's that's your card um, in the minor arcana. So just being, um, it's one of your cards. <laughs> it's fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, it's just being super confident and assured of yourself, um, but bring in some of this, this water energy too, to be emotionally available as well. Assertive, not overbearing, okay? difference. Let's see what the signs from Spirit Love Oracle has for us. Ooh. Seashell protection. Yeah, there's a difference between uh, walls and boundaries. Walls don't let anybody in, but boundaries show us, show other people where there's a door. Okay, boundaries are good. Boundaries are good. Um, but protection, and I love how I just intuitively put it here with the, and I just now realized it, <laughs> with the tower in reverse. Remember that you are divinely protected. Uh, 444, your hard work and determination is creating blessed foundations for the future. Yeah, that's four of wands energy. Foundations. Lovely. So just putting in the work and, and doing work on yourself and um and healing beautiful romance angels oracle like this one ah let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so if you're single and looking reach out to your network your friends um if you are uh, in a relationship that you're not totally sure you want to get out of, you think there might be some repairing, maybe ask your friends, and oh, this actually could go with anybody uh, watching this, ask your friends um, to help you 
maybe if you're single, make that dating profile <laughs> or ask your friends to help you. Like, what am I not seeing here? What am I? Because that outside perspective can really help, help you to see a bit more, um, like, oh yeah, that guy was never right for you. Or she was super controlling. It's a good thing you're not together anymore. Whatever it might be, your friends can help you and they can help you heal. True friends will always help you heal and support you no matter what, but they'll also tell you what's up. <laughs> and from the Sacred Traveler's deck, what direction are you being invited to move in? With that two of wands energy. Oh, this has come up for pretty much everybody. <laughs> Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Um, so the nice thing about bridges is even if you burn them, you can rebuild them, but you can also, I'm also getting like a crossing of a bridge, a crossing from, it's like water under the bridge here and crossing from one life into another. That's the hermit's lantern. So a period of self-discovery, um, helps out. So woo Sag, that was good. That was pretty straightforward to the point. Mic drop. Lovely. Uh, but do remember this is a general reading, so take what resonates. And then um, if you want your own personal reading, all of my info is below. Until next time, take care. <laughs>